¡Él ha resucitado! ¡Sí, Él ha resucitado! ¡Cristos vos crees! ¡Boristinos vos crees! He is risen. He is risen indeed. Guys, happy Easter to all of you. No matter what language you speak, guys, today we celebrate that Jesus is alive. He defeated death. Now we have an eternal hope. So, anywhere you go today, as you are getting ready for breakfast, as you are getting ready for go and have some lunch with your family and order those chicken nuggets or hot dogs, tell the waiter, take everybody. He is risen. This is the reason. This is the hope. This is what we do. What we do, because we believe. We know that Jesus is alive. Today, more than ever, get out of the bed. Get out of the sofa. Start jumping. Start worshiping God. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, before we jump into today's video, of course it will be about the death and resurrection of Jesus. It's very important because this is all about the gospel. Another word that we use for the gospel is the good news. We want to give the world the good news that Jesus is alive. What is the gospel then you might ask? The gospel is the good news that God sent his son, Jesus, into the world to rescue the sinners, to rescue all the people in the world, because we are all have sin. We will all have uh, do something that God doesn't like at one point or another. The hope, the, the happiness that we can have is that we know that God sends his one and only son, Jesus, to pay for those sins, to give us eternal life. This is such an important day again, because Today is the day we remember that Jesus conquered death, that he gave us the victory. Let's watch the video and always remember, and this was written centuries before Jesus, and it's in First in Chronicles 16.31, and this is what it says the Bible. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, and let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Guys. Let's watch the story together and see you in a few minutes. Jesus had been arrested and taken to Pilate, the governor. The governor's soldiers put a scarlet robe on Jesus and made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then, they mocked him. Here is the king of the Jews. They beat Jesus 
and led him away to be killed. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. Darkness covered the land. Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again, and then he died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom, and there was an earthquake. One of the men guarding Jesus' body said, This man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a tomb. A stone was sealed in front of the tomb so that no one could steal Jesus' body. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An angel of the Lord rolled back the stone and sat on it. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. The angel spoke to the woman. Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen, just like he said he would. The women left the tomb quickly. They ran to tell the disciples the good news. Just then, Jesus greeted them. The women worshipped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. Jesus appeared to Peter and then to the other disciples. Jesus also appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Many people witnessed that Jesus is alive. Jesus' death and resurrection is the center of the gospel. Jesus died to pay for our sins. Jesus is alive. God gives hope and true joy to everyone who trusts in Jesus. Hey guys, 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. This is what God's word says. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. These are some big words that I just uh, throw around and we can find here in 1 Peter chapter 1, 3 and 4. But what the Bible is reminding us, what the, the Bible is telling you and I, is that we are winners. If, if we confess that we have sinned, if we confess that we fail in something and we repent, we, we tell God, we will turn around, we will do this no more. But we actually ask Jesus to clean us. We ask Jesus to save us. We confess to him. He will wash away. Remember, we are celebrating today that, yes, Jesus was crucified on a Friday. And because of his blood, because of the nails going through his hands, now we don't have to go through that pain. We don't, got, we don't have to go through that suffering again because he already paid the price. Our living hope is knowing that through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, we are now called and known as Christians, as little Christ, as little Jesus, because he is living in us. Guys, God's word says that he loved the world so much that he gave us his one and only son. So whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Guys, remember, as we celebrate today Easter, he is risen. He is risen indeed. Now go, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your big brother, your little sister, he is risen. He is risen indeed. See you guys soon.
Bye. Happy Easter.